I'm McKenna Peterson. I'm a skier and a fisherman from Sun Valley, Idaho. I'm Dylan Peterson. I'm also a skier and a fisherman. We live about five miles apart <laughs> from each other in Idaho. <laughs> We're not twins. I am five years older, but we sure act like it. <laughs> I have been to Iceland on three previous trips. I love it there. It's an incredibly special place. So when my friend Siggy called me up and said that he had some openings on a sailboat for a sail to ski adventures. I said, all right, let me see if I can get my family to go. Sent out the family text message chain saying, hey guys, want to go to Iceland for 10 days? And luckily everybody was in. I think we booked our flights like three weeks in advance of going. Family ski vacation to Iceland. It was us two, our partners, Ben and Tate. Is this thing on? Yeah, it's on. All right. Is this, that's good. And our mom, Larson, which was special to bring her. We do a lot of family ski adventures together, but it was fun to bring mom on like kind of a, a bigger one. Mom still crushes it in the mountains. Mom's still a phenomenal skier and hikes harder than we do and is in better shape than all of us. So she was getting after it. She's the best skier in the family. She is the best skier in the family. <laughs> So we flew in and drove straight to the boat. The boat was moored at a dock and we offloaded all of our gear and put our ski boots on and went skiing. I think I spent a total of 15 minutes on the boat before we went to go ski for the first day. We jumped right into it, all jet lagged and having traveled. I'm like, all right, we're here, it's daylight. Might as well burn some energy and try to get tired. Let's go skiing. We just need some more fucking waterfalls. On this ski and sail trip, we were hanging out in the East Fjords of Iceland, where I had personally never been. It's not very populated, and there aren't very many people skiing in that area, in those mountains. So the fjords we were pulling into via sailboat were basically empty. We did not see very many humans at all on this trip.
we were on a sailing boat called Beer. That is a traditionally rigged sailing vessel, 25 meters. So it's actually pretty big, pretty spacious, pretty comfortable. Um, we were on the boat for seven days in total of the trip. And we, I mean, we could have stayed forever. We were, <laughs> we were enjoying it yeah. so much. We loved it. Mm -hmm. It's my first time on a sailboat. So that was very exciting. Mm -hmm. Very cool to experience the rigging and just once we did put the sails up, mm -hmm. it was very different and I, yeah, loved it. Yeah, one of the biggest differences from the boats we're used to, to the sailing boat is just everything on ours is so mechanical. There's winches and hydraulics and three engines and it's just loud and everything's moving. And the sailing boat was, since it was traditionally rigged, every time we put the sails up and down, we did it by hand. And then it's just quiet once you turn the engine off. Yeah, when you turn off the engine and you're under sail, the noise the boat makes when it's going through the water, everybody on board just shuts up. It's like, oh. It is the coolest feeling to move through the water with the power of wind. Mm -hmm. And there's no vibration. You can hear the water hitting the side of the boat. It's, it's magical. So we, you know, quietly sail into this beautiful, dark blue watered fjord surrounded by white capped peaks with no buildings, no humans. We'd drop the anchor, we'd get to shore, and then we'd have, you know, an endless amount of mountains to go explore. Yeah, it was cool to like look at the maps and try to figure out what our plans were for the ski days and where we uh, were gonna go. Maybe stay here for tomorrow night. There's a, it's not really a village, but... But not really having any clue or any beta or ideas from anyone else. So we'd look at the map and we're like, well, this looks cool. This looks like an option. This could go here. And then we'd have to get up there and just feel it out. Most of us navigate and travel through the mountains all the time in the winter and in the summer. So it was easy to like trust each other to make plans and everyone bring in everyone's opinions and brainstorm. Mm -hmm. And we worked really well as a team to figure out what was doable for us as a group, what wasn't, where we could go and see if option A or B or C were actually gonna work or not. Yeah, you don't know until you go, so you might as well just start walking. Yeah. <laughs> Don't open it up. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous, Mom. You can do it.
I am looking forward to doing it again. <laughs> I thought it was incredible. This is one of my favorite trips I've ever been on. Partly because of the adventure of going somewhere mostly unknown, and partly because of doing it with my family. The family aspect was the key part for the trip. We all got along well, we communicated well, and we went there looking for an adventure, not really knowing what we were gonna find, and it was an adventure. So, success all around. Jesus, that's good. Okay, go mama, I'm behind you. Okay, we're going. Wait. <laughs> Fall in line, folks! That was good. Did it look good, babe? Oh yeah. And the sides were all sprayed just the way I like it. I thought it was. I think she made it a little further than this. <laughs>